Hello everybody, my name is Dylan Zayner and this is my vlog 8-Bit Homo and on this week's video I have a slam poem for you guys and I've never done slam poems before so we are going to see how this turns out. Enjoy! <sighs> the Struggle Wake up in the morning, thoughts spinning in my head, but not one of them, contemplating whether or not I was dead. So instead, lean over, grab my phone and tweet out, mornings are the struggle, this is not what my life's about. I can't believe it. When I think about it, my life's really not that hard. I have a family, loved ones, and drive a somewhat shitty car. Let's bring it back to basics in case this message is somewhat blurred. The true struggle is growing up dead at the door. Don't understand what I'm saying? Good. Sit down and listen. Children growing up overseas denied of human intuition, and love, and fight, and passion, and rights, and human equality, they're dead at the door because they are who they want to be. I will never know that struggle, like a girl growing up in Russia. She plays with kids, got a crush on another girl who's 10, but forced to take those feelings, crush, spit them out, and then it turns to regret. Denial, hatred, and loathing, and slowly she's denied her right to fight for what's inside. No one to look up to. Unlike me, with role models in my eyes, while she cries, unable to feel those feelings for the girl she sits besides, she grows up. Told her life isn't real, it's a joke. The real joke? This message is sponsored by crazy religious folk. And in Uganda, the story's all the same, beaten, bruised, and brutalized for coming out as gay. It's not fair I can stand here and say what I'm saying now without fear of persecution or being cast out. I am blessed for what I have. It isn't bad. If there's a God, why was I given the right to shout and proclaim my identity out while people elsewhere are killed for trying to live by handouts? If there's a God, I hope he, she, it listens. Please bring down divine intervention so these kids can start living. I won't hold my breath to it. Instead, I will strive for change. Turn my rage into the movement that will hopefully pave a way. Like what was done for me, so I can see who I want to see. I want to be a role model for kids who have lost their identity. Embrace who you are. Love who you are. Keep reaching for the stars. Don't look at your feet defeated. I know life might seem hard. There are people who love you, regardless of what society might say, and those people that love you scream, please don't take your life away. You're a beautiful human being with so much left to do, and to the privileged people, try to give back and advocate for something new. The struggle is real. <laughs> Tell that to the kids in Russia, and the little boys and girls in Uganda. That's the struggle, that's pain, living this one life in shame. Fear is not a way to live, we need to change it. The struggle is real, how will you pave it?